this is David Ahmed and today I'll be doing my video on metallic bonds. So sit down and like this. Enjoy your iced tea if you want. Metallic bonds is the attraction between metal ions and delocalized electrons. But it pretty much delocalized electrons are electrons that have the freedom to move. And also the bond isn't between two atoms. A metallic bond is a sharing of electrons between many atoms of a metal element and this type of bonding shouldn't be confused with ionic bonding which is bonding between a metal and a non-metal or covalent bonding which is bonding between two non-metals so pretty much because there are large amounts of unpaired electrons in the d orbital it would pretty much be easier for the metal ion atom to give away valent electrons than to gain valent electrons to achieve the octet rule. And since it gives away valent electrons, it becomes a positive ion. And also, because of this, all the ions are engulfed in a pool or sea of valent electrons since they are all given away, since there are large amounts of unpaired ones. And these electrons are all shared by the ions. And because they are unpaired, they have the freedom to move and drift in any which way they please. And since the ions are in the sea of electrons, they don't repel each other because the electrons are separating them apart. So look at this. Look at it this way. You have a couple golf balls or many golf balls and you fill a container to the very brim of the golf balls and then you add water in the container. You'll find out that the space between the balls was all filled by water. So pretty much metallic bonds are like this but the balls are like the ions and the water is like the sea of electrons. And also since the ions don't repel and are engulfed in the sea of electrons, metals are good conductors of heat and electricity, they are ductile, they are shiny and they are malleable. So goodbye and I'll see you later.